Did you know that if you ingested no more than 3 milligrams of tellurium dioxide, a molecule composed of only three atoms, you would stink of garlic for the next nine months? That's awesome, right? <laughs> if you combine three other atoms, you can get H2O, water, the molecule of life itself. If you combine three other atoms, you can get CO2, carbon dioxide. You probably all know carbon dioxide because it forms a nice blanket around the Earth to keep it very warm. From these few examples, you might have guessed, I'm a PhD student in chemistry, and my thesis is about the last molecule I spoke about, carbon dioxide. One of the biggest challenges of the 21st century is energy, its production and its consumption. With the rise of population combined with the burning of fossil fuels, the CO2 concentration in our atmosphere has reached an alarming level. CO2 is very nice to work with in the lab because it's abundant and cheap, but in the atmosphere, you all know, it's responsible for global change and climate change. My thesis is entitled Catalyst Design for the Transformation of CO2 into Value-Added Products. Let me try to explain to you what a catalyst is with a simple analogy. Chemistry is the art of breaking and making chemical bonds. Much like Legos, when we were smaller, younger, or perhaps for some of you even today, we like to play with Legos. We like to put them together, assemble them, disassemble them, making some nice structures. But once in a while, two Lego bricks would get stuck. And in order to unstick them, we'd need a tool, such as a toothpick or a screwdriver, and I even heard LIGO develop their personal tool to unstick two LIGO bricks. Well, this tool is in chemistry a catalyst. Sometimes it's hard to put two molecules together or to take two molecules apart, which is why we would need a catalyst. So my job is to design the best catalyst to transform carbon dioxide. And so far in the laboratory, we were able to incorporate CO2 to make pharmaceutical drugs using carbon dioxide, we were able to make synthetic fuels from carbon dioxide, still using catalysts. And we're doing this in a much more green and sustainable way because we are getting rid of CO2, a waste molecule. I presume some of you have the view of chemistry from the movies, like Breaking Bad. But it's not only about dissolving bodies or cooking drugs. It's also about focusing on important challenges of our time. And I really believe that my thesis will be important in understanding how to utilize CO2 that come, for example, from the flowers we saw earlier, and to use them in an efficient manner rather than considering it a simple waste. Thank you very much for your attention.